Welcome to the Creative Play and Podcast Network. Join us as we share our favorite RPGs, one-shot games, tabletop games, reviews, and convention panels. Sit back and enjoy the show. Hi, this is Kelly, a.k.a. Trixie from Ragnarok and Roll, a sign to Ragnarok story, and Tilda Wimblewick from D&D Journey of the Fifth Edition. First off, I would just like to say thank you to everyone for listening to our varied adventures, as well as for rating us on iTunes and RPGpodcast.com. If you haven't rated us yet, we would greatly appreciate it if you could. And if you're looking for more ways to support our efforts, we are now on Patreon, a great site where you can help us continue making more podcasts, as well as some special surprises for our patrons. If you can, please look us up at www.patreon.com slash cppn. Every little bit helps. And again, thank you for listening. I'm there. Well, if you're there and I'm here, the only thing I can say is welcome back to Hashtag RPG A Day, this time 2024. Woohoo! Jim here. And Kelly. And it is August the 1st of RPG A Day 2024. First of all, can you believe it's August already? <laughs> no, like... the, year is, the year is gone. I know. We're going to blink and it's going to be 2025 and Wawa Westcon. <laughs> Which I will shamelessly throw it out there. This upcoming year, Wawa Westcon is in the last weekend of March. Yes, slight change. Totally going to mess things up with the change of schedule. But for August the 1st. What is the first RPG that you bought this year? Well, I have to say, I haven't bought any new RPGs. I have bought bought accessories, but I have not bought a new RPG. So, I know, I'm ashamed. I'm so sad. But... I have only bought accessories. I have not bought a new one. Wow, that that actually I know. Me. I know. You need to get to the game store. <laughs> but then I get all like, I get distracted by all the 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 pretty pretties and the dice and the you know, uh, and then yeah. And now that's not to say I didn't look at a bunch of different ones. But I, I, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm bad. I'm ashamed. Well, I mean, your, your birthday is coming up. You got to see maybe <laughs> if uh, there's, there's something that, that might interest you out there. Just throw that out there. I will think about it. Hmm. See, now for me, I had to go and, and look up what the first purchase of the year was. And uh, I was pleasantly surprised My by my first RPG purchase the year was a new RPG, which is Candela Obscura from Darrington Press and the guys over at Crit Roll. Mm. It's their new urban fantasy series. It's kind of a very, very steampunk Victoriana style. Uh, we're monster hunters who... who protect the light and take out the baddies that no one believes in it's a <laughs> it's it's a pretty nice tight rpg in my opinion it's it's got a sa- similar rule set to blades in the dark and power by the apocalypse so if you played power by the apocalypse you can totally play candela obscura the only difference is it is quicker for your character to be maimed and die in the game but as your character gets maimed three times, you basically take a negative to a stat and put a positive on another stat, showing how your character has changed from the injury or the crippling, which is an interesting concept. Oh. And it it's, isn't... it's a very pretty book. I mean, you, you've probably seen it. It's that little black book, notebook size. It's got the swirly runic. Oh yeah, that yeah. is yeah. Okay. It's a very pretty little book, just as the standard copy, not the fancy fancy copy from Crit Roll. But uh, well, that's not the fancy copy. It's still very pretty. Yeah, I I think the fancy copy is less fancy than the basic copy. 
the book, I, I will give my uh, honest opinion that the book has gotten a lot of rough reviews because a lot of GMs who have not played other Power by the Apocalypse or Blades in the Dark don't kind of catch the concept on some of the NPCs. There's only the players roll the dice, which is one of those games I do like, you know, like City of Mist, you know, only the players roll, so it makes me free to just role play. And in the book, the baddies have no stats, so the monsters have no actual stats. So you know what that means. If if it has no stats, I cannot kill it. <laughs> Lovely. No, but it, it, but in fact, is what it is is the GM comes up with the monsters, sort of like uh, the Power by the Apocalypse game Monster of the Week, where the GM mm-hmm. will write down a bunch of notes saying vampire has teeth, rending teeth, it has slicing claws, and when the player faces the danger, basically like Power of the Apocalypse would call it. The player rolls to avoid being hurt, just like they rolled to hurt the bad guy. And basically, it's one quick exchange that decides the entire outcome in one shot. Granted, as a player, you have a mechanic that lets you re-roll your dice or add extra dice, which is nice. And on depending on your career, certain careers have a bonus dice that even if it fails you choose that dice you get some of your resources back because you use that dice so it definitely has some some fun use and like i said even even the baddest monster hitting you won't take your character out in one shot but will horribly maim you for possibly the next shot but it does allow for lots of teamwork, so that way people don't instantly die. I've I've had a lot of people that have been scared by the crunchiness that you can die, but in actual gameplay, in three session mini campaigns, nobody has actually been taken out. Oh, permanently. Okay, cool. Because of course, when you're between uh, missions, you can opt to use the player group's resources to help recover as well. But that is my first RPG bot this year. There's been there's been some good stuff that's come out this year. Well, I I I'm still so bad that I didn't, but I will endeavor to get one. You, I mean, you must other, get but I love the personal. I love stuff. I love dice. I love so that's why I was, you know. You're totally going to have on. to uh, focus on getting something this year. <laughs> I mean, I will throw it out there. Uh, the Kickstarter that I backed, the first one for this year is the Strange Light Workshop for, uh, by Steamforged Games. It's basically Iron Kingdom's urban oh, fantasy. Okay. There's a, it's basically, there's a totally theme. It's the urban fantasy campaign for Iron Kingdoms. Where you basically play steampunk Ghostbusters in Iron Kingdoms. I I totally sense that there's a uh, Victoriana steampunk urban fantasy kick going on in my life. Cool. So definitely check out that Kickstarter, by the way, because Strange Light Workshop is still in the process of kicking but they have like they hit their goal like the first day and interesting thought steamforge games now owns the ip for iron kingdoms oh really uh, yep pirate press sold over to to their you know their one-time allies now basically owners of uh, steamforge games for all the iron kingdoms ips it was one of those super secret quiet purchases that now now is in full effect. Cool. So uh, since you didn't have a fancy dancy great answer for RPG a day, are you going to roll on the alternate table? I will gladly roll on the alternate table. Hold on, let me bring that image back up. And I definitely can tell right. you. Okay, I've got a I got a ten sided die out. So you know, day one is runes. So let's see what we come up. Ah, come on. Where? Oh, sorry, hold on. It went up under my computer. 
Okay. Create an NPC. Ooh, so Ooh. now you're on the spot. Okay, well, NPC in the theme. A dwarven, a dwarven rune carver, um, blacksmith, or he specializes in uh, um, magic runes. Um, uh, curse fellow. Uh, by uh, let's see here. By the name of Thorgrim Runehammer. Ooh, that's um, a good one. Thorgrim Rune Rune Hammer, and uh, um, uh, he is a uh, artisan uh, that you can purchase specialty magic items from because they're imbued with ancient dwarven runes. Mm. Now, this this rune smith that sells his runes, how do, is he in one stationary place or does he get around? Uh, he is in a stationary place. Um, Where does uh, one player yeah. find Runehammer? He has a mythical forge deep in the mountain of a uh, uh, in the middle of a volcano. Ooh. Not in I mean, not fully active. And and as an NPC, what is the most popular quest he gives the players? Ah, uh, let's see here. Yeah, well, of course, it's uh, uh, depending on what what type of runes that they want. There are certain ingredients that he needs to add to the uh, the process. Uh, so he will send them out, and I'm going to say. Something like uh, dragon acid. Oh, you know, to get that really nice etching. Mm -hmm. Something that has those nice, clean, uh, exactly. cutting abilities. Exactly. So, the faint of a heart need not apply. <laughs> oh. I mean, just getting to his smithy to get the recipe list, that, that alone is going to be a, a, an adventure. <laughs> yeah. See, there you go. Uh, but if the and if the groups can do it and they can get, you know, depending on what they want, you know, then you come out with a some type of uh, either a magic weapon that like not necessarily it could be either plus one if that's what they want or, or plus something to it. Or it could have a special function, like plus three against a specific cre type of creature or whatnot, you know. Oh, you could cool. build the whole campaign around this little guy. <laughs> I know, Jim, you're already making a note, Thorgrim Runehammer. <laughs> <laughs> and the nice thing is you've given an NPC that's system agnostic. You know, he can be so, used in D and D or any other fantasy setting. Yep, but I think that meets the uh, the criteria of runes and create an NPC. Yes, yes, it does. You have successfully <laughs> accomplished the alternate list for RPG a Day 2024. Woohoo! <laughs> All righty, guys. It is a great chance to meet everybody this Thursday for the first, and we will be back tomorrow, Friday the second. Now the question is, will Kelly be going with Forest, or will she be going with most recently played RPG? Or maybe she'll go with both. Dose. Two. <laughs> <laughs> Dual. There we go. <laughs> both 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 alrighty guys I'm a twin I like things you know in, in twos <laughs> <laughs> alrighty guys thank you for listening and we'll be back tomorrow thank you for listening to the creative play and podcast network if you enjoyed our show please check out D&D &D journey of the fifth edition and Ragnarok enroll a scion hero to Ragnarok story also check out our patreon page for more content and behind the scenes things as well as joining us for a one-shot game or two